The love made Clifford grow so big That the Howards had to leave their home Clifford's the best friend anyone could know He's the greatest dog ever I really think so Clifford's so loyal He's there when you call I love Clifford, the big red dog So they packed up a family car And the Howards left the city They moved to Birdwell Island They had no many new friends There to greet Clifford and Emily Clifford's so much fun He's a friend to us all I love Clifford, the big red dog <laughs> Ooh. Let's get these tablecloths on the tables. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> hey, hey, hey! Uh oh. Oh, I can only imagine what they're up to today. Another party. What a surprise. It's gonna be great. We're gonna learn some new games and listen to all kinds of music and everyone's bringing their favorite foods. I can't wait to come. Are you coming too, Mr. Blakeman? No, thank you. I like my Saturday nights just the way they are. Every Saturday night, Mr. Bleakman has pork chops for dinner, does a little gardening, paints, and then heads off to bed. Sounds nice, Mr. Bleakman. But wouldn't you like to try something different tonight? No, thanks. Okay, but you don't know what you're missing. <laughs> don't worry about me. I'll be just fine. Mmm, everything looks so delicious. Miss Lee brought a wonderful Chinese noodle dish. Oh, let me try some of that. Mmm, that's good. <laughs> you want to try some, Cleo? What's that? It's a Portuguese salt cod. Victor and Pedro brought it. Yum! That sounds good. Yoo-hoo! I'm here! Violet, I'm so glad you came. Mr. Bleakman still won't come? Well, you know Mr. Bleakman in his Saturday routine. Pork chops, gardening, gardening painting, bed. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so I just left him some pork chops and skedaddled on over here myself. Hey, guys, look what I brought. <gasps> wow, oh, what, what is that? that? Oh, looks hey. good. <laughs> Spicy salsa. It's my grandma's recipe. Doesn't it smell great? Oh, yeah, Clifford, be careful. These chilies are hot. Kids must be smelling my spring rolls with peanut sauce. Who'd like to try some? 
<laughs> My first customer. Well, what do you think, T-Bone? <laughs> I think he likes it. Let me! Mm -hmm. Me first! Ah, mucho gusto! If Mr. Bleakman ever got a whiff of these, he'd have to come to the party. What a great idea, Charlie. Huh? Just follow me. What is that? Is he smelling it yet? I think so. More wind, Clifford! Ooh, smells kind of good. What's that uh, smell, Emily Elizabeth? Spring rolls and peanut sauce. Wanna try some? No, I'll just stick to my pork chops, thank you. Well, okay. You're welcome to join us if you change your mind. I wish there was some way to get Mr. Bleakman to join us. Maybe he's afraid to try something new. Or maybe he just doesn't like parties. Or he could just be shy. Yeah, sometimes I feel shy when I first come to a party. You do? Yeah, but once I get there and start talking to people, I always feel much better. <laughs> this is my favorite music. I never feel shy when it's playing. Go on, Baz, put the music on. Maybe Mr. Bleakman will like it too. Okay, here goes. Oh, this is great! I love this! It's perfect! It makes you want to dance! It sure does! Isn't it? Hmm. 
you know, it is kind of fun at that. You want to come over and play with us? <laughs> well, uh... All right, let's go play! Yeah! I need a rest, Charlie. In Jamaica, the kids played all day long. Well, Mr. Bleakman isn't exactly a kid anymore. Maybe not, but he sure is a good player. Who's ready to try some dessert? Oh, dessert! I want some of it. What is it? Did you make it, Caroline? Uh-huh. It's an ice cream pizza. Mom and I invented it. The cookie is the crust, the ice cream is the sauce, and the chocolate sauce and sprinkles are the toppings. And you eat it any way you want. Mmm, it's great. Well, it, it looks a little messy. Go on, Horace. Have some fun. Try something new once in a while. Oh, you're right. It is fun to try something new once in a while. Mm. Oh, it is good. Well, Clifford, I think our potluck party was a hit. Everyone here tried something new tonight. Even Mr. Bleakman. <laughs> Even you, Clifford. Today's story is Speckle and the Shadow Show. One late afternoon, as the sun was setting, Speckle and his friends thought their fun was over for the day. Then they noticed their shadows stretching along the ground and making funny shadow shapes on the wall. It was so much fun, they decided to make their own shadow puppet show. Luna became a graceful swan. Darnell was a royal king. Speckle, Reba, and Ravi teamed up to be a big, friendly giant. It was great fun. But then, the sun finally disappeared and took their shadows with it. Until tomorrow. was a great story. Isn't reading fun? <laughs> the best gift. Trace around his paw. There! Okay, lift up, Clifford. This is going to make a great birthday card, Emily. Uh-huh. We'll cut it out and write Happy Birthday Mom from Emily, Elizabeth, and Clifford on it. Your mother will love it. What is your mother going to love, Emily, Elizabeth? Oh, hi, Jetta. We're making a birthday card for my mom from Clifford and me. It's your mom's birthday? Mm-hmm. So what are you getting your mom for her birthday? Well, this card. And this afternoon, she and I are going to spend the whole rest of the day together. Uh-huh. And? And I wrote a very special poem for her. And? And that's all. That's it? That's what you're giving your mom for her birthday? It sounds great to me. Thanks, Charlie. I think it's going to be just what she wants. 
You may think that's what she wants, Emily Elizabeth, but I know what mothers like. You do? Of course. Jetta, Emily is already giving her mom something great. Moms love to wear matching clothes with their daughters. You know, mother-daughter outfits like I wear with my mom. About this. Trust me, Emily Elizabeth, I know what I'm talking about. Now let's go get those outfits. This is the best place to shop on Birdwell Island, Emily Elizabeth. Come on. They have everything you could ever want in here. Okay, Emily Elizabeth, let's go find the perfect present. <sighs> that won't work at all, Emily Elizabeth. You have got to be kidding. <laughs> this is the one you like? Absolutely amazing. You know, Jenna, I don't think an outfit is the best thing to get for my mom. Fine. We'll just have to find something else for her then. There are lots of things that mothers love besides matching outfits, Emily Elizabeth. They really love stuff like bubble baths and perfume. That sounds kind of expensive. Worry, you and I can make her some amazing perfume. That sounds like fun. Do you know how to make perfume, Jenna? Sure. Hey, Emily Elizabeth, Jenna. Did you get a new present for your mom, Emily Elizabeth? Jenna and I are gonna make her some perfume. Wanna help? Sure. How do we do it? Well, the first thing we have to do is find a bunch of stuff that smells nice. We can do that. Then we mix them up together and put them in a bottle. Well, come on then. Let's go find some good smelling stuff. Mm. I love the smell of pine trees. Many things smell good in here. Oranges and cinnamon and fresh bread <gasps> and maple syrup and cookies and chocolate sauce. Smell it and see if it's ready. Whoa! P U. Uh, that's awful. Maybe it needs more flowers. I don't think that's going to help. Elizabeth, I don't know what went wrong. That's okay. I think I'm just gonna give her my poem. Now, don't worry. I know lots of things that mothers really like. I'll think of something. But I really think she's going to love my poem, Jetta. I do too, Emily. She always loves what you give her. Yeah. Last year I made her a shell necklace, remember? <gasps> of 
course! Jewelry! Every mom loves to get jewelry. Actually, she said her favorite part wasn't the necklace. It was looking for seashells with me. Uh-huh, that's nice. But I'm not talking about making her another necklace, Emily Elizabeth. Hmm? We're going to make your mom a really big piece of jewelry. Moms love things that are big. Woof. Well, okay. Let's get started. You guys go down to the beach and get me more seashells, and I'll start working on the really big piece of jewelry. Oh my gosh! It's absolutely amazing! Isn't it just perfect, Emily Elizabeth? Wow, it sure is big! What is it? It's a tiara! A what? A tiara! It's a crown that queens and princesses wear. Every mother wants to be a queen. Really special, Jetta. I know. And it fits me perfectly. But, Jetta, I don't think my mom wants to be a queen. She doesn't? Nope. I think she just likes being my mom. And I think she's the best, just the way she is. Sounds good, Emily Elizabeth. Thanks for everything, Jetta. But I've got to get home and see my mom. You could be right, Emily Elizabeth. Maybe your poem is the best gift. So, since you've decided to give her the poem... Can I keep the tiara? Sure. It fits you perfectly. Goodbye, Jetta. Goodbye, Charlie. Thanks for everything. Bye, Emily Elizabeth. Happy birthday to your mother. And thanks for the tiara. of our birthday time together. I'm glad you're here, sweetie. Spending time with you is the favorite part of my birthday. It's my favorite part, too. <laughs> <laughs> it's Clifford's favorite part, too. Well, come on, then. Why don't we all work in the garden together? OK. <laughs> Oh, what a wonderful birthday I had today, Emily Elizabeth. Thanks. I have a little present for you. It's a poem I wrote about you. Oh, how wonderful. Some call you Mrs. Howard, but you're always mom to me. When I wake up in the morning, you're the first face that I see. I know you're very busy. You have many things you do. But I know you'll always be there whenever I need you. You help me with my schoolwork. You help me laugh and play. I know that I can count on you every single day. So here's a poem I've written. It's my gift to you this time. Happy birthday to you, Mom. I'm really glad you're mine. Oh, Emily, that poem was beautiful. Beautiful. I kind of knew you'd like it. I love it. And I love you. <laughs> okay, everyone, let's play ball. Yeah, okay! Clifford and I know that sometimes when we're asked to do something important, our friends count on us to follow through. That's why Clifford's big idea for today is be responsible. Hey, where's the ball? Max said he would bring it today. If that's what Max said, then I'm sure that's what he'll do. Look, there's Mac now! Hey, Mac, did you bring the ball? Oh, I don't feel like playing ball. I'm going to the beach. Gee, Mac, we were all counting on you to bring the ball. Uh-huh. Then I guess I better go get it. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> all right! Yay! Yay! Woo-woo! Being 
being responsible means others can trust you to do what you promised to do. It feels good to know that you can be counted on. And that's why Clifford's big idea for today is be responsible. today. Sorry! We were just setting the table for our potluck party. Huh. Another party. What a surprise. It's gonna be great! We're gonna learn some new games and listen to all kinds of music and everyone's bringing their favorite foods. I can't wait to come. Are you coming too, Mr. Blakeman? No, thank you. I like my Saturday nights just the way they are. Every Saturday night, Mr. Bleakman has pork chops for dinner, does a little gardening, paints, and then heads off to bed. Sounds nice, Mr. Bleakman. But wouldn't you like to try something different tonight? No, thanks. Okay, but you don't know what you're missing. <laughs> don't worry about me. I'll be just fine. Everything looks so delicious. Miss Lee brought a wonderful Chinese noodle dish. Oh, let me try some of that. Mmm, that's good. <laughs> you want to try some, Cleo? Look at this! Baclau! What's that? It's a Portuguese salt cod. Victor and Pedro brought it. Yum! That sounds good! Yoo-hoo! I'm here! Violet! I'm so glad you came! Mr. Bleakman still won't come? Well, you know Mr. Bleakman in his Saturday routine. Pork chops, gardening, painting, painting bed. <laughs> 
Oh, so I just left him some pork chops and skedaddled on over here myself. Hey, guys, look what I brought. Salsa, it's my grandma's recipe. Doesn't it smell great? Oh, yeah, Clifford, be careful. These chilies are hot. That happened to me the first time, too. What's that? Mm. You kids must be smelling my spring rolls with peanut sauce. Who'd like to try some? <laughs> my first customer. Well, what do you think, T-Bone? <laughs> I think he likes it. Let me! Mm -hmm. Me first! Ah, mucho gusto! If Mr. Bleakman ever got a whiff of these, he'd have to come to the party. What a great idea, Charlie. Huh? Just follow me. What is that? Is he smelling it yet? I think so. Wind, Clifford! Ooh, smells kind of good. Hi, Mr. Bleakman. Uh, what's that uh, smell, Emily Elizabeth? Spring rolls and peanut sauce. Want to try some? No, I'll just stick to my pork chops, thank you. Well, okay. You're welcome to join us if you change your mind. I wish there was some way to get Mr. Bleakman to join us. Maybe he's afraid to try something new. Or maybe he just doesn't like parties. Or he could just be shy. Yeah, sometimes I feel shy when I first come to a party. You do? Yeah, but once I get there, and start talking to people, I always feel much better. <laughs> this is my favorite music. I never feel shy when it's playing. Go on, Baz, put the music on. Maybe Mr. Bleakman will like it too. Okay, here goes. Oh, this is great. I love this. It's perfect. It makes you want to dance. It sure does. 